Good evening, everyone. This is Scott Prasky with your KTC News Headlines for this Sunday, July 31st. It's the loss of a legend in the world of sports, Bill Russell, one of the men synonymous with the Boston Celtics and with bridging the gap in race relations, died today at the age of 88. An NBA Hall of Famer, perhaps the greatest defensive player in the league history, Russell won 11 titles in Boston and was the first black head coach in the NBA. Opelousas police are investigating an overnight shooting of a 16-year-old male. The shooting took place on the 800 block of Rice Lane, where the victim was shot in the leg and the arm. No life-threatening injuries have been reported. And a school supply drive, very special one. This one hosted by MMA legend Dustin Poirier and his Good Fight Foundation. Happens this Thursday at Server Chevrolet Cadillac, 10 to 1. Backpacks full of supplies, though you should probably get there early because last year thousands of backpacks were gone in just a couple hours. There'll be a three backpack limit per car. A great effort by some great folks, Dustin, his wife, Jolie, and a tremendous team. Speaking of a tremendous team, our weather team, <laughs> headlined by Bradley Benoit today. Bradley, what you got? I appreciate that, Scott, and uh, we should be looking at a pretty quiet evening and night ahead, mild and muggy, mid-70s for that overnight low, so that's where we'll kick off the week tomorrow morning. It'll be hot and humid into the afternoon, lower 90s, and I think a slightly better scattering of showers and storms than what we saw out there today, so we'll bring rain chances up to around uh, 50 to 60 percent and uh, some locally heavy rains possible and any thunderstorms that develop tomorrow afternoon, and then really the rest of the week ahead looking pretty unsettled here across the Cadiana rain chances anywhere uh, from 50 to 60 percent with scattered mainly afternoon downpours remaining in a mix just about each and every day. High temperatures uh, maybe a little bit cooler thanks to the additional clouds and showers around upper 80s to lower 90s. Those overnight lows look to settle into the middle 70s. Well, that's going to do it for this news and weather update for now for future updates. Keep it tuned to TV3.